Hi, it's Brad with Engadget, and uh, this is the light pad here. Now, let me tell you a little bit about what the light pad does. It's actually a pretty cool concept. Uh, it's actually a uh, Pico projector with a Bluetooth dock. So let me show you exactly how it works. So we already have a, uh, a phone set up here. It's uh, connected using HDMI out. And of course it's connected here where you've got the Pico projector uh, uh, projecting onto a much larger screen. So this way, if you have just your screen is just way too small for you to work on. Plus you also need a, a nice keyboard so that way you can do emails and texting and whatever. You have that all built in here. So this little guy is just a, a thin piece of, of plastic basically. It's got a nice uh, coating on there. Uh, so that way it just projects the image on. Now on here, in addition to having the keyboard, you, of course you have a trackpad so you can get around. So we can go in here and still do everything that we would need to do with the touchscreen without having to go all the way over to the phone itself. Now this works with pretty much any phone that has HDMI out capabilities. So it can be Android, it can be Windows phone if it has the HDMI out. Uh, also can be iPhone if you have the special cord for it or a special adapter. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a great little thing. Uh, we're not seeing it quite out to market until the end of uh, Q2. And pricing has not yet been established. So uh, definitely keep a close eye out for that and we'll keep you updated. Now there's actually two different ways that you can use the Pico projector. One is of course the way we just showed you, but also you can uh, flip this around. So that way it's just projecting onto a larger screen overall. Um, so in this case we have a, a briefcase all set up and it's just got a, a screen built in and it just projects right onto the screen so that way you can do all of your smartphone stuff. You can still have presentations, um, watch movies, whatever you want to do just right through uh, onto that screen. Once again this is Brad with Engadget.